Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install uh, Skype Musashi on a reference design 5850 Radon card, but with a reference plate for cooling the memory, shader unit, and the voltage unit. So let's look at the Musashi. It comes with two fans. I didn't try it out, don't know how loud they are, but they are tense, so you might have trouble replacing them compared to the original shroud it's about even maybe the original shroud is a little thicker and I don't know I like the original shroud more but since my fan failed I have to change my reference cooler so the Skype Musashi comes with a bunch of little heat sinks as you can see that this is just a handful it comes with a lot of more so you if you don't want to use the stock plate you can use these things just peel the sticker off and just put them on so as i said i'll be sticking to the reference design plate so the musashi comes with this thing it's a riser for the gpu unit and on some cards this frame is a little thicker than the GPU processing unit itself, so this is kind of tampon between the, those two things. Since I bought this Musashi cooler used, uh, the previous owner has glued with thermal adhesive the copper tampon, if I could call it that, and so I have to use this thing. So, because of the tampon, I had to dremel out about one and a half millimeters of this thing so the cooler could fit and now I'm going to show you how to install it. The Musashi cooler comes with these pins, they're functional like screws and you need to put them on the second hole to install a 5850 graphics card. So let's come in. Okay, now that we put this thing on, we need to put some thermal paste on the GPU processing unit. I'm using the stock paste that came with the Musashi, no Arctic sealer for me or, not, or anything like that because I don't like anything capacitive around my electronic devices. That's about enough. So I'm going to use uh, some cardboard. I don't care much for paste. Smudge it all over. With the paste prepared, I'm going to now put the graphic card on the cooler. So watch for these holes. You need to fit. And just gently slide it down. Look down and adjust if needed. Mine is looking good. And we're ready to go. Take the back plate, put it on. And then, in an X fashion, put the screws. And there you have it. The Skype Musashi is now installed. As you can see, this is how the card looks like with it. It's got this tensimeters to control the fan speed. It goes in the rear bracket. I don't like that, but I will mod it a bit when a fan comes. And the usual power connector. And that's it. Thank you for watching.